Ho ho, I'm back in the mighty Dacia again, um, which has been playing up for us this week. Um, you may recall in the video the other weekend when we did the q and it wasn't actually working. So um, I'm hopeful that now it's got a new DZ cap and rotor arm, all will be well, because I need to go to Dacia Fest. Ignition lights, that's good. There's the choke. Uh, let's try Sans Throttle first of all. Try a bit more choke. Well, that sounds good. Right then, next stop, Warwickshire. God, this is weird. I haven't been aboard this car for a very long time. Remember, it's left hand drive. Ooh, that clutch pedal doesn't seem to have any weight on it at all. Oh, good times. Uh, already I'm having nightmares with a gear change. I've kind of forgotten what it was like. Oh, don't drive into me. Not very friendly. I've forgotten just how horrendous this gear change is. Oh, absolutely appalling. Wasn't such a problem on the drive back from Romania because, to be honest, you didn't get this level of traffic very often. Stuck in yet more traffic. That's um, rush hour on a Friday for you. Um, I seem to have lost all the electronics on the dash again. Uh, this first happened to us in Zagreb and uh, it's happened again um, the only thing that seems to be working is the speedometer because it's mechanical and the light that tells me the side lights are on uh, all other gauge is dead so um, I think it had just under half a tank of fuel but now I've no idea so that's interesting <sighs> No, we're in Kidderminster and I don't like Kidderminster. Oh, welcome to the British Motor Museum where um, a certain Dacia has um, made it and is on display at the Dacia World Dacia Fest event, uh, along with an original duster. Um, absolute beauty, bought two years ago as something approaching a wreck. Look at that. And um, yeah, restored to this degree. I haven't seen a duster for years, so this is a real pleasure. I see it's got the same steering wheel as the 1310. Uh, it's been beautifully restored. Very nice, it's starting to make mine look rather scruffy, I think. Uh, we've had our issues getting the Dacia here today. She didn't want to start. Um, definitely a few, new fuel pump, because um, this car was, the du duster was restored by a Romanian who's been passing on some tips today about what we might do to improve the, um, the mighty Dacia's reliability. Uh, I bought some merch along with me, um, just in case anyone wants to buy any. We, we have mugs and things. Um, that's the new thing on the website. We now have Hubnut mugs, um, because we're all about celebrating the average. And we've got Tuck mugs as well. And I'm working on some Mighty Dacia designs. We have even got torches, but they're a pain to send out. So I might only be selling those at events, but they are at least very bright. Yeah, let's have a quick look at what else is around. I'll just shut the boot. It's quite well designed, so you actually just pull down and it does release, even though it looks like it's going to snap. So there's the Dacia Fest badge. We are official. Uh, let's go and have a wander around. Because, you know, there is the original Duster, which incidentally was never sold in Romania as a dust, uh, Dacia. It was always the Arrow, Arrow 10. And here is the modern duster. I think how things have changed, eh?
very different. So yeah, we've got um, Sanderos, we've got Dusters, but sadly no Logans. I would really like to have seen a first gen Logan. You know, obviously these are modern cars, so they're not entirely what I'm all about, but um, some quite amusing off-roader spec ones. Good to see the Welsh flag flying strongly. Look at that. That is um, different. I mean, it's still not a Land Rover, but um, it's probably more reliable than a Land Rover, to be fair. Let's go and see what else is around today, because it's not just Dachas that are enjoying the show. By way of complete contrast, it's also the Jaguar Breakfast Club meeting where they just come and hang out at the museum in their many Jaguars. And again, unsurprisingly, it's um, more the moderns that are in strong numbers here, but you know, that's just because there are more of them, to be fair. But um, this is the second Saturday on the trot where I've been up close and personal with an XK150 Roadster. Again, it's a left-hand drive because the right-hand drive ones are so rare. Uh, it's hard to believe that that shape is 50 years old this year, the XJ. I mean, that's a Series 2, so it's got a very slight facelift, but the basic shape was launched in 1968. Oh, look, red velour interior. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. I'm not a fan of leather, so I'm all for a bit of velour. Very nice. And we've got XJS and E-Type as well. That's quite an engine bay. Do love the throttle linkage on these. Very nice. And um, there's a classic van meet tomorrow. So let's go and have a look at the classic vans. That's nice to see. I do like a Bentley Mulsan. That is a Bentley Mulsan S, which is a slightly sporty one. Um, let's get out of here. This is all looking a bit fancy. Oh, look, there's a Land Rover Discovery over there. Very nice. Let's go see what's going on in the world of transit vans because we've got a Mark 1 camper here and a Mark 3 camper next to it. I still remember when the Mark 3s came out, it was just nothing looked like it at all. Mark 1s, a Smiley Riot van, called Smiley Front because of the grille, and some modern transits as well. And um, we'll just go and have a look at this old Morris Frutney bit, they used to call them. I've never entirely been sure why. But um, yeah, the old Morris, I think they were FJ was the model code. Morris Commercial became a Leyland towards the end. Um, that's a C plate, so what's that, 64, 65? And um, yeah, lovely. Wipers at the top and this odd rear door on the cab which sort of comes it faces backwards it's not straight on the side it's always a bit peculiar a bit austere you might say in there but um, one day I'll remember which way is up and which way is down but today is not that day but nonetheless that's a rather lovely thing Uh, the Comma Space Van, as we used to call them. Um, love how the wipers are tucked away at the top. I used to love these as a child. I remember seeing a British telecom one of these. Um, drive down the road and he'd left the rear doors open and all this stuff fell out the back. Uh, it's a very clear memory of mine from the 1980s. Uh, very stylish thing. The wheels are very, very inset. So the handling was always regarded as a bit, well, awful. And the engine lives under that cover there. So it's right between the driver and passenger. A very cramped driving position, I imagine. This is in lovely condition. So originally the indicators used to be up here. They just seem like normal tail lights now. That's a very nice example. A Toyota Hiace camper. 
Uh, plenty of headroom in there with a fold-up roof. A uh, member of the classic camper club. That's very smart. I absolutely adore these transit parcel vans. Um, I'm wondering if that's the one I see very often at the NEC. Look at those enormous swinging wipers. But otherwise, it, under the skin, all stock transit. Because I think the event is actually organised by the Transit Club. Got to love an early transit van, so characterful. And, you know, effectively that basic shape was still in production in the 80s, in these facelifted versions. Um, I quite like these, they're probably my favourite of the transit vans. <laughs> How did Land Rover avoid getting done for copyright, eh? Remarkable. Oh, this one's got a bit of custom treatment going on. So there we go, that's some bonus van content. Right, back to the Dachas. Right, this um, car does not like starting, it turns out. Let's try again. Hurrah, success, right. Uh, now we can impress the Romanian builders and drive home, hopefully. Shropshire, because the Dacia is going to continue to live with Rich. The unfortunate thing is, this um, medium of video really doesn't show you how smelly this car is. It stinks in here. Petrol and fumes. And we're just passing the end of Jaguar Land Rover. In fact, I need to be in that lane over there. So this is where the development work is done for Jaguar Land Rover and um, other office stuff, I imagine. Oh, I've forgotten all about body roll. Aha! Stuck behind the tractor. One time when left-hand drive is definitely not useful. But not that there's very much in the way of overtaking opportunity right here. But drama really. Well we're just driving home after our day at Dacia Fest. Perhaps a little smaller than we'd anticipated. Uh, would have been nice to see a few more cars there. I was, I was really really hoping to see a Mark 1 Logan but there are many of those over here. But yeah it's nice to see there is a growing fan base for the Dacia brand in the UK. Um, datchaworld.co.uk is where you need to head um, I can even show you this funky keyring so that's where you need to go for all your Dacia needs and to be honest I find myself looking at the newer generation duster and thinking you know maybe I wouldn't mind one of those I think I need to try one Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video as we meet the Mighty Dacia once again. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget to head to the shop. Um, you can get there via hubnut.org. Well, where am I going here? Ah, oh, right there. And um, you can see what tempting items of merchandise we have. And all your purchases help support what I do with Hubnut. So thank you very much.
always appreciated. So it only remains for me to say farewell and wonder if you're wondering where the pachoo is. Oh, a Lamborghini.